This is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the Asus M4A87TD Evo 3 motherboard. It's the reason why I say Evo 3 is because that's actually what it is. It's the Evo USB 3 motherboard. Um, it doesn't have two PCI Express X16s. It has one PCI Express X16 slot and one X4. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to lag us down at all, but I've heard mixed reviews saying if you're just running it for monitor support, the X4 is just fine. Inside the box you'll find two SATA cables right here for the hard drive or CD-ROM or whatever you need SATA cable for. Another two additional for any other CD-ROMs, hard drives that you may have. Uh, we have the driver disc installation or the driver installation disc with the ASUS sticker as you can see. It's a pretty nice looking sticker. Inside here we have a motherboard series user guide update. So it's for Turbo V. Turbo V is an overclocking application. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you don't touch it because uh, you'll probably fry your machine. And nobody wants a roasted machine, especially one that's not going to be under warranty. Uh, in here we got the manual. It basically tells you how to set everything up if you don't know how to do that yourself. But again, if you don't know how to do it yourself, it's suggested that you watch some YouTube video tutorials or read up on how to do it before you do it yourself because you don't want to mess anything up. In here is kind of like a little cheat sheet. It tells you where to plug your ground wires in from your case so your power buttons work. It has a reset switch button here. I'm uh, not sure what the other one's for, but it's probably for USB, I'm guessing. The Q Shield on this one is a little bit cheaper than the other regular m 487 td motherboard. It's a little, like, the other one had some foam, so it was a secure connection. This is just more of a standard piece of metal, so I, I'm not going to give that a great review for that, but, I mean, if it works, it works, and you're never going to look at the back of your case once you plug everything in anyway. Uh, this is a IDE cable for older hard drives. If you're using a newer motherboard, I suggest you get a newer hard drive because IDE is going to slow you way down. Alrighty, and as for the motherboard, it's coming out here. It feels pretty heavy. Um, I'd also like to point out, I'm pretty sure this goes up to DDR3 overclock 1800 memory. It's also a dual channel motherboard. The motherboard itself is very, very nice feeling. Uh, and the reason I like this motherboard is the PCI Express X16 slot 2 is down here compared to where it normally is up here so it's not crowding the other one's fan. If you ever had a Crossfire or other video card Sly running in Sly, you'd notice how close they usually are running to each other that it can actually make a heat issue out of that. This won't have that issue. Uh, dual intelligent processor is a little sticker here. Um, it seems like a nice motherboard. It's pretty well built on the heat sink itself. Another heat sink on the south bridge, I believe it is. Um, you got the CMOS battery. If you ever need to reset that, you just flick that out and, and put it back in. Other than that, uh, we got the USB 3 on the back of here. These are the USB 3 ports. This is USB 2.0, USB 2.0, Firewire, USB 2.0, the LAN, and the sound card, which is a 7.1 sound system, I believe, on this one. Uh, other than that, we got the basic standard mouse plug-in that nobody's probably going to use anymore, and we got the sound, uh, can't think of that, but it's some kind of sound. It's like the little red light sound. I know that's not the proper name, but uh, that's about it for now, and I'll post an update video, and I'm going to have this thing booting up in SSD grade zero. Thanks for watching.